MrYorkieLoverFitness.com. How you guys doing? This is Jason from Mr. Yorkie Lover Fitness, and today I want to talk to you about how to smell good as a man and a bodybuilder. And there's some videos, like there's a lot of videos that I'll make myself. That just because I want to make them and then there's some videos that need to be made and I believe this is one that truly needs to be made and the reason why is uh, I work with guys and they reek if you go to the gym people reek and I always smell good whether I'm working out walking just around my house or out in public I always smell good so it just amazes me how many people don't take care of proper hygiene or don't use the right tools to, so that they always smell good and there's benefits to smelling good besides the fact that people don't talk shit behind your back that you reek but uh, if you smell nice I mean some women are attracted to nice smelling guys but what they're not attracted to is guys that reek so let me, let me talk about the three basics what I feel that that you need to do this and most people don't do all three of these things which like blows my mind because I've been doing this since I was like 10 but let's talk about the first thing so obviously shower daily we get this most people do shower daily uh, I recommend a good soap now you don't need a soap that's going to have fragrance in it or a soap that you know because because usually that type of stuff's not going to stay in your body when you use it but the soap I use is I, I use Dove I like this soap because it's not just a soap it's also a moisturizer so one thing from using this soap over the years I always get compliments that my skin is very soft and it's because the moisturizers in the soap so you and they have different they have different fragrances you get I just get their regular dove soap these cost about a buck a piece so uh, I use soap that's the first thing use soap now most people use deodorant some some don't which which I'm amazed so as for deodorant, there's, there's two types of deodorant. You have the antiperspirants and you have regular deodorant. Now, I don't use antiperspirant deodorants. I use regular deodorant. And the reason why is in antiperspirant deodorants, they put aluminum in there. And that's what clogs up your pores so you don't sweat. But the negative side effect of that is you're putting metal into your body. And there's a big linkage between aluminum and Alzheimer's and other, other types of health issues you're going to get. So you don't need antiperspirant. All you need is regular deodorant. And from the time when I when I joined the military and my drill sergeant told us, "Hey, get this type of deodorant." I've been using this ever since, and that is Speed Stick. And they they come in different flavors, smells, uh, but this thing you can get this. These go for about a dollar. If you have a 99 cent store near you, you can get this and the dub soap for a dollar each but this stuff you put about three to four swipes under each arm and you know when I and I have a physical job and I will not sweat at all under my arms I will not have BO and this stuff works perfect and like let's say you go to the gym you know after the gym you'll have to put more of this on but but that's pretty uh, a heavy duty usage but just for your everyday walking around outside or just going to work you know one application in the morning of this should do the trick so that's what that's what most guys do now most guys shower they use soap and most guys use a uh, deodorant now what most guys don't do and this truly amazes me is use cologne uh, the majority of guys I work with and I work in the studios where I'm on a TV show with celebrities around and the only people that seem to be wearing cologne are like the writers and the producers and the celebrities but the majority of the crew doesn't wear of the men doesn't wear cologne and that just astounds me because every girl I know wears perfume so I highly recommend you go get a good cologne now what what I do is I went and I went to the you know and first of all when you buy your cologne don't buy it off the internet you have to go to a store like Macy's to get your cologne the reason why, if you buy cologne off the internet, eBay, Amazon, whatever, there's a lot of fakes out there. They'll look like the original, they'll smell like the original, but they'll be a lot cheaper. And the problem with these fakes is they don't last. Is you'll spray them on your body, and within an hour or two, the smell is gone. That's that's what you're paying for. So I go to I go to Macy's, 
And so an average good cologne is about $60 a bottle. And that's for like a 3.4 ounce bottle of cologne. Now, if you sprayed cologne on you every day, a $60 bottle plus tax would last you about a year easily. So what I recommend you do is go to your local Macy's and say, find out the, around Christmas time is when the new fragrances, the new scents come out. But I would go to the, your local Macy's and ask them, hey, what's your top five best-selling colognes? Now, they might have a couple classics they'll tell you about that, that sell all the time, or they'll have some new ones. And smell them all. And one thing I learned about cologne is what might smell good on me may smell different on you because if we take the same cologne and put it on, because of our body chemistry, it changes the scent a little. So go in there. Look what five they recommend, first of all. So try each one on, smell them, and, and buy one to two of those colognes. And what, what I do is I have, I got this Paco 1 million, Paco Rabanne 1 million. This cologne, I get compliments on this all the time. And that's a, that's a good way of knowing if you have a good cologne. Because every year, like I said, they release like 20 different colognes. Every year there's new colognes coming out from Calvin Klein, Eternity, whatever. And Paco Rabanne, every year they release new, new colognes. It's a big market. But the way you find out if you have a good cologne is you like it and you constantly get compliments. With this cologne, I get compliments from men and women. Guys are like, wow, that smells good. What is that? And women go, wow, that really smells good. And women get turned on by a good smell. That's And that's the benefit of cologne. So this is so I, I have about three colognes I use. But I'm going to show you. This is a very good one, Paco Rabanne. This is about $60 a bottle plus tax. The other one is Polo Red. And like I said, these are just the ones I like. And like when these run out, I'll go to the store and I'll see what new ones they have to you know stay fashionable. But uh, another thing you could do is if you have a local Ross or Marshalls in your town, which are all over here in America, you they they have real cologne and they're usually about fifteen twenty dollars cheaper and they're usually a couple years older they don't usually have the newer stuff but I was I was at Ross the other day and like I said I wear cologne if I if I never leave my house it's part of my thing after I get out of the shower I put cologne on and so you know even if I don't leave the house I have cologne on so I have certain clones that I'll, I'll wear that, that if I know I'm not going to wear I'll at least put some like a, a lesser brand cologne on a cheaper brand in price but not actual cheap cologne and I'll wear that around the house just in case someone stops by my house I don't smell I, you know I always smell good so I was at Ross and I found this this uh, Burberry touch and I and this was going for $35 this is a 3.4 ounce bottle this same bottle at Macy's would be $60 and it's funny because when I was researching this cologne this was another one that was recommended and I almost got it, but I, I like this smell better. So this was $35, so I bought it. It's, like, it's a great deal. And then I saw this other cologne, Calvin Klein Man. And this thing, a 3.4-ounce bottle, was only $25. Now, I haven't even smelled this one, but that's the thing. If you get any decent name brand cologne, it's going to be better than no cologne. So go find yourself a good one to two bottles. I like two bottles because I like to mix it up. You know, Every other day I do a different... You know, but like I said, I actually have three bottles. But for you, I'd recommend at least at least two bottles. So every other day, you switch it up, and then you'll find which you know cologne works best for you. If if you never get compliments on that cologne, use it up and never buy that cologne again, and find another cologne until you start getting one they get compliments on. But uh, it's like some people only if they if guys do put on cologne, it's only if they're go, like going on a date. Make this a daily ritual. Trust me, it will it will do wonders for you. You know, people like being around people that don't reek. And so what I re recommend is like, so I get out of the shower after I get out of the shower. So let me talk about one other thing I would recommend. So do the shower, use the soap. After the shower, use the deodorant. And then also I believe in lotion. So I have two types of lotion. So I have these types of lotion for my face. You need a special type of lotion for your face. It has different moisturizers and it'll, it'll help slow down your wrinkling process. I'm 45 years old, so it'll help slow down because it, it just hydrates your skin. And then I get a regular 
lotion that you can put over the rest of your body. So what I do is, like I said, after I get out of the shower, I use the deodorant, I put lotion, I put this lotion on my arms, and one benefit about putting lotion on your arms is it will give your arms somewhat of a glistening look and it will make them stand out a little bit more. So if you're a bodybuilder and you're working out, it's going to help emphasize your arms a little bit more. Besides not only uh, nurturing it with, with moisturizer into your, into your skin, but it's going to have a nice scent to it too. So I put that, I put this, you know, all over body lotion on my arms and then I'll take, then, I, then find two good, you know, this is a natural lotion and then this Clinique for Men, it's a little pricey, but this is a really good lotion. And I put these on my face. I put one, one or the other on my face. And uh, so after I put the lotion on, then I take my cologne. And before I put my shirt on, I spray one spray on this chest, one spray on this chest, put the shirt on. And then once I have my shirt on, I spray one spray under my neck, about, about a good six to ten inches away. And then about a foot away, I do one spray quickly down over the top of my shirt. If you do that, and I don't care how physical your job is, if you're sweating at work, like I am sometimes, you will. What happens with good cologne, it stays on you because they put oils in the good cologne and the cheap colognes they don't, is when you start sweating, it reactivates that cologne. So on top of with your deodorant, your lotion, and that cologne, if when you start sweating, like most guys, if you don't have that stuff, you start smelling more. But if you have this stuff on you, you start sweating, you start smelling better, and it lasts. And like I said, some days working in the studios, I might work 16 hours a day. And I, and I do all this stuff in the morning before I leave the house, and I am usually good for all 16 hours. So like I said, I felt this video had to be made because it's just I'm just amazed how many guys don't do all these things and they reek and you and you know people are talking behind the back oh that guy that guy stinks that guy stinks it's like come on there's there's no need for that so take my advice try this stuff try this out you'll thank me for it and uh, you know go ahead and leave leave comments tell me what your favorite cologne is what what you get a lot of compliments on if you use cologne what deodorants you like, uh, what uh, lotions you like. Just leave all that stuff in the comments. Any questions, leave in the comments. And I want to thank you for supporting the channel, watching this video, and I will see you next time.